It's fine. All right, guys, welcome back. We got Chino, Manny, Paul. We got our boy Thor. We got our boy Berg Nasty. And he's rocking some the major green today. What's he looking like, uh, the Power Ranger? Yeah, so today is new comic book day. So um, for us, at least, we always get the books a day early. We're going to go through them. We're going to show off all the books, Indies, uh, DC, and Marvel. And at the end, we're also going to pick our pick of the week. So, Thor, if you want to go next, bro, introduce yourself. What the books you got going on? Yeah, definitely. Yo, it's your boy Thor Kiburo once again back at it, man. Hot, hot off the comic book block. You already know what time it is, guys. It's that new comic book day presented to you by my dudes, Chino and Manny. Um, you know, big time coming out here. As always, glad to see what's coming out because this week might be a pocket burner. So I'm looking forward to it, man. And um, yeah, a couple a couple things, man. Uh, guys, um, uh, come and check out. I'm gonna be hosting a auction this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh via my channel so if you guys have an opportunity to man definitely come and check it out it's going to be a lot of dope hot books so oh man awesome thor uh bert you up next bro how's everyone doing today it is a great day uh tomorrow a big power rangers book is coming out i am stoked about it if you couldn't tell i'm wearing my power rangers shirt and my power rangers i just felt like putting it on i'm pretty stoked Power Rangers coming out tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's a big week, just like Thoro said. A lot of good books coming out. Going to be uh, putting a burn in your pocket. Uh, all the good stuff. I'm also going to be doing some videos this week, um, talking about my collection and talking about some books I'm going to be sending to CGC. And I may do another live auction as well for my LCS. I'm trying to figure out a time, but that's what's on the docket this week. I'm ready to go, man. Let's do this, Manny. Awesome, bro. Yeah, and then for us, man, uh, you know, tomorrow's gonna be should be a pretty good day. It's new comic book day. Um, we sh we have a few things probably going on this week. We might be going live um, for for another show, maybe on Thursday, give or take. I think on Saturday we're planning on also doing our auction uh, during the day. So we'll do a earlier during the day. Uh, that way we don't interfere with anybody else's time. But to start this off. What I want to show off, guys, first is this is what you need to pick up first when you go to your comic book shop. The previews. Pick them up. That way you know what's coming up next. That way you're you're not you know you're not caught sleeping and, and, and you don't walk into comic book shop and you want a certain book and then you know they don't have it because you, you didn't put it on your on your pool list. So I recommend that this this is the main thing you need to try to pick up tomorrow, aside from picking up your new books. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll start with the indies, man. There's there's quite a bit today for indies. Um just show off a little bit of what we have. Decent little stack, and honestly, I think the Indies might be a little bit bigger than the than DC this this week. So right off the bat, we're gonna change the camera aspect to off the books. First book we have is gonna be Ascender number three. And if you guys haven't been reading this book, um, it's basically sometimes there's a glare. Uh, this book's actually a really really good read. Uh, I know there was a Descender before, and I think this is I guess a continuation. But from what I read, is you really can't, you really don't get lost, and it's actually a pretty damn good read. So if, if you got this one on your pool, that you're doing a pretty good job. We got we got Kinsman saying put one put one in my box. Of which one? Uh, I, I'm assuming this one. Oh, and I guess you know before we start the show, let's give us some some quick shots of the people in the chat, which we have. Go back to the beginning. We have nobody, no one, which is the first guy on here. We have Ryan Pond. We have uh, Berg Nasty, Jay Saw, City Joe, Ugly Saw, the comic book villain. That he said. He said that we're late and it's cutting to his girlfriend's time and he has to get home to his wife. So that dude's keeping him pretty busy. Uh, we have a City Joe, A Ramirez, Discovery Bay is on here. Uh, who else we have up in here? Um, I think that's mostly it. Comics for all people. What's up? Lone Espinosa, Hawaiian Punch 72, Strictly Comics. What's up, bro? Man, Kinsman Redeemer and. Bob Lanton. So, yeah, we got a lot of people up in, in this chat, man. And we're going to show off all the books. Uh, Chino, what do you think about Ascender, bro? You like that cover or you're not digging it? Um, I don't know. I was watching uh, Dragon Ball uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super, so that looks like that that, that big old dragon. Shimron. Shimron. <laughs> <laughs> I, so. I, I, might, I might just get it because of that, man. I, I'm in a big, uh, you know, Dragon Ball uh, a Super uh, kind of like a high right now. So, yeah, Ascender's a good book. We also have... We have this book. We have uh, Thoro's favorite book that I know he's been picking up relig religiously, which is going to be Angel Number Two. 
<laughs> you know, he, and he laughs because he, he, he that boy knows I mean, that's, that's all his pool is. Let, give me three yeah, copies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got he got a reader copy, his uh collector copy, and his uh beater copy. God, <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's right, man. Don't don't sleep on Angel. Right, he's the one that watches over you while you sleep. Exactly, Burger. You you picked up this book or what? Oh, oh, uh, no, I'm not gonna pick that book up. I don't think. Who's writing it though? What's up? No, I'm probably not gonna be picking that up. <laughs> All yeah. right, so look, that's the that's a that's a cover A, and then we also have the one per store cover, which can be every store should get one of these. It should just be one per store, from my understanding. So I think the, I mean, honestly, I think I like the the, the second cover better. If I'm picking the cover. So we got we got a uh, Bob Lanton in here saying, "How's my subscription doing today, Bob? Is he a subscriber? Uh, probably. Um." Bob, it's, it's going to be doing a lot better. We're going to stick all these books in your box, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, comments for all people said you guys need to be happy. You, you got the Green Ranger and you have Thor of the Dark Knight in the house, which, yeah, man, we got Burke is, is, is I mean, he's the Green Ranger all day, her day today. You know it. <laughs> this next book is going to be an IDW. It's going to be Canto number one, and it's going to be basically a story of uh of i guess a little creature that their hearts are replaced by by clocks man he's trying to re he's trying to relocate or re reacquire his uh his girlfriend's or his wife's heart, uh, heart again so this looks this looks interesting man it looks cartoonish but i i, I want to read this damn book Oops. yeah that's that's something i, I want to pick up um this this is a book actually guys that has been pushed back for freaking several months now this comic book was supposed to actually come out like back in march i believe and they held it back, and now they're just recently coming out with it. There was a, uh, uh, what the hell was it? Um, they they came up with a different name prior to this, and then they ended up going with this name right here for this uh, character, for the main character. He's trying to uh, get his heart back and trying to save his uh, his love. His love, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, again, just the artistic style. I can I can get behind it. I want to read it as a number one, so for sure that'll go in my box. I yeah. pick up number ones. Oh, I punch say it, it's a sleeper. So I guess uh, some people are 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 they know about this book and like Foro said, it it, it must have got uh, shelved for a while. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes a bad thing. Um, when it gets pushed back, hopefully it's for for a good reason and and, it, and made it better. This is gonna be the one in ten variant or uh, incentive variant. And I think that cover right there is straight fire. Yeah, that cover right there is freaking dope. Yeah, so that's gonna be uh, one in ten. <laughs> uh what's up so I'm, I'm gonna read a, a few things while we're doing this and we're gonna go to the next one let me, let me hold up before you go too fast the the next book's gonna be the crow the crow uh hack slash and it's gonna be by idw issue number one it's gonna be the first appearance of the new crow guys so it's gonna be a first appearance alert so th this is exactly what the comic villain was saying on here he typed all this stuff all, all this information we need to have him on here too he does, yeah. While, while he's driving home from his girlfriend's house, going to his wife, to his wife's house, yeah, uh -huh. he, he needs to jump on on, on the phone, man. So he's, wow. <laughs> the the knowledge that he's bringing out is the the crow in this in this book in particular is the first appearance of the new crow, uh, mm -hmm. and then it's a Spider Man featuring Spider Ham Annual Number One. That's the first oh, appearance of. Miles Morales, I guess. Uh, Miles Morales. Miles oh, and no, hold up. Oh, and I guess uh, why not? Now I know why Thor is wearing a uh, Power Rangers number. Uh, his Power Rangers. His Power Rangers number forty is new times in this issue. You mean Bert Nasty wearing the yeah, Power Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thor, uh, Thor, Thor wants to wear it too. <laughs> <laughs> Thor wants to wear it. Nah, man. And then Justice League, and then first full appearance of the Lords of Chaos. So there's going to be, I guess, a, a good amount of first appearances coming out. Yeah, and when we go through it, I'll, I'll point out what I have. Uh, that way we don't miss it. Uh, so that's going to be cover A. This going to be the the 1 in 10 variant. And you know what's crazy, guys, is that we ordered 10, right? But they only send us 9. So uh, the orders were allocated, which means they couldn't even meet the demand of the 10. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but... I only have nine copies of this book, and we still have we still have the well, we still got a hold of the uh, one in ten variant. So yeah, one in ten variant looks pretty damn pretty damn cool too. I think both covers are pretty damn nice. So uh, I recommend you pick it up if it's a if it's a first appearance of the crow. And I think a lot of stuff that that was old is coming back in style again. So you never know what they might do with that character, man. 
Now, this is the next this next book, which is going to be by Aftershock, Dark Red number four. This is the one that I, I've been waiting for this one because I've been really enjoying this story. And I think their covers have been, have been on point for the most part. Is that a horror story? It's a vampire story. Okay. So yeah. it's not really scary, but it's 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 kind of like you know, in a perspective of uh, in a perspective of one certain vampire, and um, I mean it has show written all over it too, man. But I mean it's 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 not very, yeah, it's not a boring. It's actually a pretty interesting read. It's pretty fun. Yeah, he was he was a soldier on the previous issue. He was a soldier in World War, and he just you know in the end of freaking uh, getting caught up in crossfire and stuff like that, and. And it goes from there. That's that's pretty much it, it was telling his origin and how he uh, got turned into a vampire. Yeah. I, I, again, I mean, like I said, it, it's, it's been a really good read. Um, and I think people were hyped on it to begin with. And it's kind of lived up. Um, it, uh, it's not going to blow your mind, but it hasn't been boring. That's for sure. It's been pretty damn good. So uh, just a recent just joined us. We have TMC Comics. We have High Live Comics, bro. Uh, we have Matt Wook's Den Comics in here. And I do agree with you, uh, com uh, just reading this comics. Nine Ooh. is better than none. Oh, the next yeah. book we have is gonna be Disney Afternoon Giant. It's by IDW number five. Going on real quick. Sure. What happened? People are, yes. Uh, well, I'm trying to catch up with the reading. Oh, Scar Hard, Scott Hard just joined us too, man. So, this is gonna be Darkwing Duck, bro. I, I know you guys, guys together, I know. that's nice. That's a badass cover, bro. Yeah, th this one is pretty cool. So, yeah, that one's a uh, number five. The next book is gonna be the Goon number three. I know people went, got kind of hyped on on the variant of number one. So I think it was like an Alex Ross cover, or something like that. Uh, but it's a pretty cool looking cover, man. I haven't read this book. I kind of missed out on number one, but I think there was some pretty good. I think there was some good feedback behind it, from my understanding. You want to? Yeah, it was it was pretty it was actually pretty good, man. I'm actually enjoying this. Uh, the uh, number two that I had just finished reading, I'm looking forward to this one. Was the uh, first appearance of Vinny Nosferatu. Cool, so it's like everybody's kind of joining in. We got about 26 people on here, man. So um, you guys are about to get some see some good books, man. And yeah, right now we're doing the Independence Guy. We'll jump to DC and then we'll go, we'll finish off with Marvel because DC's kind of light this week. Well, um, but I think they have some pretty good books. This is gonna be the cover B of the Goon. And and the Vinny, I guess the Vinny reached this one. He said the the Goon is real good, man. I I think I'm gonna catch up on the Goon too. No, it's a it's a true believer. So it's like it, it looks uh, pretty cool, man. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> the next book's gonna be Invaders in Sim number forty four. This is, this is something new, right? I haven't seen it. No, nah, we've had it. We've always had it, but we only get like one copy of it, I think, because it's only one subscriber to it. Got Vanna White over there. All right, we can move on from this one. It looks like it's not popular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only one person is buying it. <laughs> <laughs> idiot. Uh, we got Kick Ass number 15. Uh, pretty cool looking cover, too. That is cool. It's by Image, guys. So, um, you know, Image, they usually bring out some pretty damn good books. Next book's going to be by IDW, My Little Pony, Spirit of the Forest. That's going to be cover A, I believe. Oh, they, cool. they, they look pretty cute. They <laughs> look pretty cute. And look at uh, TNC say he has about 6,000 worth of comics in his show. You should, bro. You yeah, should. Go ahead, throw, throw, yeah, throw them up on a, on, on a video, man. Open so the video, send them to me. I can show them all for you too. <laughs> it's gonna be cover B, guys, of My Little Pony, Spirit of the Forest. That cover B is nice. Wow. Yeah, but I, I think I think I've I've liked some of their other covers better. Um, these are they're all right. Spoken like two brothers. Where the, hell, where the hell is Bueller, man? That's that's his jam right here. That's his book. Hey man, those these guys, man, they they they're they're cool. They come in, pick up their books. Hey, they never miss a beat, bro. You're so, brony thorough. What happened? I say you're a, are you a brony? Uh, nah, not me, brother. Uh, the next book is gonna be Marilyn Manor by IDW, issue number one. Um, again, just a, a number one. I I, re I remember looking at it in the previews. I forgot what the whole backstory is, but I think she's. I mean, this is on the first press, so she's related to the president or something. Um, but I remember picking up. I just I picked up a few copies, not a lot. 
I don't think it. I don't know if it has it, it, much legs, on, but I could be wrong. I want to be a sleeper. Yeah, I want to be a big sleeper. And everybody goes nuts for it. All right, and this is this is the one that that Berg Nash has been waiting for. All. So the next one. Let's see. Afterwards, we're going to talk about something. Sure. This is going to be. This is going to be by Boom Studios, number 40. Yo, Burke, get your condom out, bro. We don't want no one pregnant in comics here. Nah, he said he's going to go raw on this one. Yeah, this is going to be uh, <laughs> issue number 40, bro. White, white Ranger, bro. You want me to talk about, you want me to talk about this issue? This is, this is, you this don't is want no bad bro. report on it. Okay, so this is a spec book because it is the first appearance of the White Ranger um, in comic books. Um, they just came off Shattered Grid, and they did a new team for issues 31 through 39. It didn't um, really sell that many issues, so they're coming back to the original team, but this time with the White Power Ranger, and no one knows how he joined the team. And so it's kind of a big deal. And the guy that's writing Go-Go Power Rangers, Ryan Parrott, is now writing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as well. And all the covers they have are sick, but you should go to that cover B, that foil cover. Okay, so then this is cover A, which I think looks pretty damn nice to begin with. So oh, I did, and this brings back memories of being, you know, young and, and seeing Power Rangers. I know most of us watch Power Rangers. So yeah, we all we all did. So it brings back memories. And the White Ranger, when he came out, I thought it was dope as hell. So Man, you had a crush on him, too. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be the cover B. It's going to be like the foil cover. Um it's it's a beautiful looking cover. Honestly, I think this this could be a cover by all day. With Burke's insight on it, it makes it even more appealing. Um, and again, I'm a firm believer. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff that that, that you know we grew up with. This <laughs> stuff comes back in style anyways, or comes or, or comes back again. So, you know, you never know. It might be a little sleeper, man. This is oh. a, a reprint of issue zero, the one of one hundred. But they're making it foil in every issue. For the next 10 issues are going to be a reprint of issue zero with a different power ranger that they're making a foil cover for for uh cover b so yeah i, I did see that in the in the in the, in the, order, in the reorders and now this one here is going to be the one in 20 variant and this is the one that um so we actually got 20 copies of this book so we're, we're kind of specking i guess a little bit on it too well, yeah we got the inside I, of, uh, well burke said, he wants, burke said he wants to buy 10 copies of each book so there you go we're good to go <laughs> Hey, actually, I gotta be. I'll be right back. Hold on one second, guys. You guys keep talking. Oh, you uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, He's walking away with a bottle of lotion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta squeeze one out. Go, go, Power Ranger. You're gonna be that cover. If you guys haven't seen it, look at the Clayton Crane uh, cover that's on eBay. It is beautiful. Now, they're asking like 50, 60 bucks for it, but it is it is one of the nicest covers I've ever seen. I did see that one. I saw it on eBay, and um, it would have been bad if we could order it. But yeah, it's it's like 50, 60 bucks. I, I think yeah, that, that thing is nice, bro. Limited to three hundred. So. Damn. Hey, so they said grab a sock, uh, uh, Bert. I want to go talk to my wife real quick. She just got home. I'll be right back. No, go for it, bro. Bert needs to put his freaking thing on mute because if I hear him screaming, it's morphing time. Know oh, what's going on? It's All right. Excited, man. So, uh, so, so we got Joker saying that the, that the White Ranger cover is the cover of the week. Uh, it, it probably is, man. Uh, it, it, it's a really dope cover, man. That that foil one. It's nice, bro. It's real nice. Um, uh, and then Huggy we saw was saying that that number one of how many? Uh, Burke, what was that? He has uh, the one he's talking about that is that is a homage to is, is uh, issue number zero, which is one in one hundred. That one, yeah, the, the foil one. But okay. from here, they're gonna launch like the Red Ranger and the Pink Ranger, and so on and stuff like that. Uh, the next book's gonna be by American Mythology Productions, number one. It's gonna be Princess of Venus. And I think this is limited to 350 copies. Wow. So this is gonna be a. It's actually one that I picked up for myself. I wonder why. <laughs> limited to 350 <laughs> copies, bro. What do you think about that cover, team? What do you think about it, Thor? You like that cover, or you don't? You, you don't like it? Uh, it look all right. That's the kind of cover you need to hide from your wife, man. You know. <laughs> well, what do you plan? What do you? you, what do you sure you're not reading that nowhere near her. What do you plan to do with these covers? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, <laughs> ah, you know. No, if you haven't been watching what the market is doing, you you kind of have to see that 
a lot of like these uh, more risque kind of kind of pictures or, or drawings are going up in value, bro. Yeah, yeah there, there's an audience for everything, man. Um, you know, you, you have the audience for these, for these risque covers, nudity covers. I mean, you name it. There's, there's, there's something for everybody, and people are willing to pay sometimes out of their pockets for certain books. No, yeah, it's, it's, uh, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good cover, man. I, I like it, and I, I love the fact that it's limited to 350 bucks. At the end of the day, it's a $10 yeah, right. book, so I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to die if, if, if it comes out of my pocket, you know? How many did you get? Just one. It's oh. limited to 350. I mean, and, and it was allocated. You didn't even think of me. It's allocated. You you can place an order for ten, but there's how many comic book shops in the USA? You know what I'm saying? They gotta allocate oh, properly. Man. So I guess you're not getting this, uh, Paul. Yeah, no, it's only for Manny. And you know where he's going with it. Princess of. I don't know. If I got to check. Um, hold up. Let me let me give a backstory on this one too. This is gonna be the one that I should have got last week, and it's gonna be uh, Red Sonya number one. The Virgin, put that one on there. So this is gonna be a Virgin cover of Red Sonya, bro. Lucio Perillo, bro. Yeah, that's that's a beast ass cover right there, bro. Yeah, so this one here you had a you had to order specifically for, for, for fifty dollars. So this is just one that I ordered and it wasn't delivered last week, so I thought that it was allocated and I, I missed out, but apparently it came in this week, so I'm good to go. Yeah. That's one I, I, I picked up a while back and it just came in. Um, the next book we have is going to be Rick and Morty, number 51. Show him the comic. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty nice. I'll show it to Adam. <laughs> Push that back a little bit, you know? Show it to Adam. And yeah, man, Rick and Morty, dude. Um, I know there's a, there's a decent following for, for, that, for that book itself. So, like I said, Indy has a lot of books this, this week, man. I mean, there's a lot of damn books, bro. I think that's cover... I think it might be cover eight. Could be wrong. The next one's going to be Rick and Morty, 51. Cover B. Oh. Or the variant. Not bad. Not bad. All right. The next book is going to be... And this one, this one was, a, was a book that got hot. Issue number one. It's gonna be IDW issue number two of Road of Bones. Did you guys read up on, on number one? I know that book got hot for a minute too. Man, Burke was quick. Yeah, that was pretty fast, Burke. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told you my wife got home. I was checking in on everything. You look so hey, you look so relaxed. You look like you just Oh jeez. <laughs> you real chill now, right? You can't see him sweat because he's got that freaking sweatband on his head. Uh, he can't prepare it up. Go Power Ranger. I look like a bad is what you meant, Thoro. <laughs> I think uh, so. Hi, Leah said that that's. I think he's saying Road of Bones is a good book. Um, so yeah, that that that's a book that number one kind of was a little sleeper, and people picked it up, and and, and it was really good. Um, so yeah, that's that's, that's this is gonna be issue number two. The next book's gonna be Michael Turner's Soul Fire number one. Michael Turner, man. Look at that. Yeah, so so this book coming out right here is one of the reasons why you've seen a lot of the Aspen comics that previously had come out back in the days that Michael Turner did work on. That's the reason why the uh, books went up in value like crazy. And there's yeah. people looking for a lot of these uh, Michael Turner books from back in the days. Didn't uh didn't J. Scott Campbell do a, a an homage or like a, his own his own kind of like a reproduction of, of a cover and that thing got got hot for I mean he got hot pretty fast. Yeah. No. So he did a run on Superman. He did a run on. So that's gonna, that's cover or what? I don't know. That might be cover A. This is gonna be probably cover B. So I mean, they're nice looking covers, bro. Yeah, my, they're like Nick Fury. Nick Fury. We're not that. He's missing that patch though, bro. Uh, so that's cover B. I could be wrong. I might have. Yeah, we're trying. Show. We're trying to get rid of rid of the glare, man. But it's mm. like. We have some. We have a lot of lights in here. That's yeah, we have some badass lights in here, man. Our our, our uh, shop is a little little high tech. Is a little, actually our shop might be over over lit up, um, so there'll be a glare on it. We we don't want to spend any money on actual the little rings of, of uh. So we put, we put over the lights in here, and this is gonna be the last cover we have for so far in the morning. This is the one that I like. Look at that. Yeah, so. Hey, Burke. Burke went for round two. 
All right. Now to finish off the Indies, Ooh. finish off the Indies, we're going to finish off with, I think the book that everybody kind of hyped on or should be hyped on. If you're not picking this book up and you're really sleeping, it's going to be Spawn 298. Ain't no yeah. mods to ASM 298. Dude. That thing is beautiful, bro. So, so yeah, we're on the road to 300. Um, and, and what I read, I read on here from Tower Farm is that the story starts on on this book, like the little the little series that that that's gonna continue on to three hundred over three hundred. Yeah, it starts, well, it starts on this one. Well, two ninety seven and like two ninety six were kind of like uh, catch catch you up books, so caught you up on, on the whole story, and this is this is gonna start. This should start the whole new series for for Spawn. Um, so yeah, I, I imagine this book's gonna fly off the shelf. We have cover A. We have the Virgin cover, which, damn. And the cool thing is that these covers are all cover price, man. Oh, the keyboard died. We don't need the keyboard, though. No. The Virgin cover, dude. Which one you picking up, Thoral? What happened? Which one are you going to pick up? Which one am I going to pick up? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm picking up that whole set. You already know I'm a Spawn fiend, bro. So I managed to finally uh, complete my whole my whole run of Spawn. Nice. So I'm, I'm officially done, bro. I needed to do it. I was trying to get it done before I rolled to 300. So big shout out to White Whale, dude. He had a big sale on Spawn, and that, that was the end of me, dude. But uh, if you guys look at that bottom corner, that picture right there on this cover, if you guys don't know, that's actually a, uh, a cover that they did for the uh, Mexican Day of the Day. And that's that's right there. It's the same uh, art that they did in the box right there at the bottom left, and that's that's what they ended up putting in there. Yeah, okay. I thought that was pretty dope that they did. I think I think for us here, the black and white man doesn't really sell too much, so we didn't go heavy on. We didn't really go too heavy on black and white, which I mean, to me, I think black and white is beautiful, but it just doesn't sell here. But we have we have the versions, we have the regular cover. Um, we ex <laughs> we expect for, for for them to sell pretty good. Well, if it doesn't sell, we'll just probably, uh, you might see it in one of our auction days. Eventually, yeah. we've got plenty of Virgin. So that's the end of Indies, man. I think uh, Strictly Thomas said he claims that Virgin cover so. Well, Strictly Thomas said he likes that Virgin. That's pretty badass, dude. All right. And uh, the minutes at 301 is going to be the big one because he breaks the record with issue 301. So. This is going to be DC, bro. DC is it's a little light, but I, I mean. It is what it is. We'll start off with Action Comics 1012, bro. Superman flying away from that red cloud. You can see like the hand reaching for him. This should be an event Leviathan time. <laughs> Superman, man. Um, I was telling the guys I read I read Event Leviathan last night. Um, it's it, it starts off a little slow. It's it's interesting enough to probably pick to pick up issue number two. But I'm interested. To, I'm interested to find out who the hell this uh this villain is, you know. But it's very mysterious. It doesn't really say much. A city Joe Thank said, you. "Uh, only have one of the virgins." Uh, did you only get one of the virgins? No, we have we have quite a few. We have a few of the virgins. Uh, I thought I thought a city Joe was a virgin. That's what you're saying? Nah. Oh. Nah, he'll, he'll pop his cherry on one of his books too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cover A. Is oh, it be, that's nice. This is this is me cover B, bro. That's nice. I think that's a that's a that's a nice that's a dope yeah, one. That's, that's, dope ass dope, man. that's nice. I love, I love um, how they I love how they uh, showed the heat vision, man. Oh, the artist just did a freaking crazy ass job. And all of it. Uh, do, uh, do we have an eBay channel? We we don't have. Uh, we, we have eBay. We have eBay. Oh, we do. Okay, we we I guess we do have one uh, uh, set up for eBay. I, I was gonna say that we didn't have one like. That was full, full going because it I think the first month was. It's going. Stop talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been, 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 been out of it. 1012. Do not sleep on any of these books because this is all tying into <laughs> Event Leviathan. And like I was telling you, this is what's going to bring Naomi into play later down the road. So this is something that's going to be, that's going to, you know, that should be on everybody's radar because a lot of these books as of late, a lot of people have been losing interest, so it hasn't been ordered as much. 
And once you get to that 1015, 1015 is where you're going to see Naomi coming in as as well as Batman. And um, yeah, so it, keep, it, keep track of these books, man, because I'm telling you from 1000 on from Action Comics, there's a lot of stuff that I, I personally have been reading and I've been speculating on that it's, been, it's going to lead to uh, uh, to Naomi playing a uh, big role in the DC universe. Yeah, if, if you follow uh, um Michael Bendis, if you follow him on, on, on Instagram and Twitter, he they already posted the cover for 1015. So um, it's already it's a it, it's a for sure thing. She's coming out in Action Comics 1015. You might want to start picking up a little early to just kind of catch something that happens before. Because once once something big happens, like you said, people aren't picking it up, and the last thing you want to do is try to run to the comic book shop and, and not find it, you know? Yeah, because so, there's little things here and there in, in every one of the uh, stories that have come out for Action Comics that's leading to that. That's why I've been saying it from the previous shows that we've been doing it, bro. I said, yeah, there, there's going to be something where Naomi's going to finally tie in as well as Event Leviathan that's just been, you know, I think it's going to be one hell of a story. Hold on, give me one second. Let me pull up something mm -hmm. real quick. Um, see if it comes up. Yo, Manny, I'm almost set with you, bro. Why? Because you, you ain't show the book I was looking forward to, man. Which one? Transformers Ghostbusters, man. Oh, dude, we, you know what? We didn't get any. See? Damn, man. dude. Uh, hey. Let me down, man. Nah, hey, that we, was my crossover. That was my crossover right there. You know what's crazy? It's just, mm -hmm. That's what we talk about. We talk about, you know, pick up the previews, um, look at them, and let us know what's up. There was no interest for that book, bro. And I want to pick it up, but Damn, dude. As a, it, 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 it's hard. And that's a perspective from us. It's hard to look at it from a personal perspective because you got to look at it from a business perspective too. And you want to go, you want to order a few copies, but then they just sit there. You try to find a way to unload them, you know. And it's just it's right now the way we are so busy with the other business, it's hard, bro. Um. So so, PMC said show, show off the eBay uh, the eBay store. Do you have it on there? I don't have it on here. Um. Give me a second. I'll try to look for it right now, but. Um, We're gonna look for it, and then and then you guys can uh, come back and. Uh, but Thor Thor got mad at me, <laughs> so I had I had to put him back on the screen. Hey, and you recently view items? Everything. <laughs> oh wow. Well, there's nothing bad. Yeah, we were sleeping on it, man. Um, I didn't even know about that book, but Thor, we've been doing this show for a long time. We should give us a heads up. No, I saw it. I saw it. But it's just... Oh, dude, I thought I thought y'all were gonna do it because I picked up the uh, the ash can for that. And that's because it's going to be uh, the first time you ever see the Ecto-1 turn into Autobot. And it's going to be uh, the Ectotron. Oh, yeah, Ectotron. That's, what I, that's what I was looking for, man. I was like, damn. I thought you guys were going to show it. Um, I'm going to look for the eBay channel. And there's, some, there's actually one dope-ass cover that, that has the uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man on the cover. And that's the one that I'm trying to pick up. Yeah, and like I said, whenever whenever I'm doing whenever we're doing the order, bro, and then you, you get the FOCs, which you get like probably two weeks or so before the book actually come out. And yeah, I'll let you guys know. And you're trying to and you're trying to push a book, bro, and nobody nobody's buying nobody nobody wants to bite on it. You're like, I don't even want to pick it up, man, because it's, it's gonna sit on the shelf, you know. All right, people are asking for the next one. Um, someone asked a question. He said, Maddie Chino, what's your opinion on the future of Red Cloud character and Superman? Think there is a promise? You know, my, my thing with Superman is this, man, is that they made they made Superman kind of too OP, man. Um, and when yeah, you, bring, yeah. you bring you bring out a villain, you don't have high expectations like they're gonna really do much to him. I don't know. So it, it may be, man. I need to read it. Um, might be too long. I might be. I guess either they go to with Which one? So far, I think only one of each. You see, you see, Manny. What's up? Hold on, let me, let me make you big, bro. Oh, yeah, this, this is uh, this is what I was talking about. Oh, oh, that's bad. Nice. Yeah, and then that's that's Ecto One, and he he gets turned into Autobot. Yeah. So, so how'd you get it early? Hmm. That's that's not the actual comic book. That's the Ash Can, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. No, I'm I'm sure you'll find it in um. I'm sure if you really want to have to go to another comic book shop, man, that's the thing that sucks. But yeah, hey, hey, you know what? Let me let me put let me put the camera on the guys that, that slept on it. Look, all these guys back here. 
Show your faces. These guys, <laughs> none of them, none of them picked it up. And not, and not, I don't know what's coming out. Not, you look at the previews. Oh, okay. The previews, man, they, yeah, they, they hurt, man. They hurt when whenever nobody picks it up. It's hard to, it's hard to, it's hard to gamble. Yeah, man, it's just real hard. Yeah, next time, next time, I'm gonna hit y'all up, man, and tell y'all, yo, y'all gotta pick this up. So this is a, that was Batman Beyond 33. This is gonna be the variant. This is a dope ass. That's story. that's my go-to book, yo. Wow. They be killing him on the variants, bro. Uh, he's running, yeah. he's running uh, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah Kyrie oh, Andrews, God. man, is killing it on, on the hard work. Yeah, she she has been killing it on on that and beyond, bro. All the variants have been have been great. Um, and typically we order just a handful, and they they usually sell for the most part. Even 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 Medwick's Dense Comics said that they he didn't uh, get know, issue one of Ghostbusters Transformers. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, bro. Cause like Michael went through all the stuff, bro. And I just I just grabbed the the, the, the one number one. <laughs> hey, we're gonna start bidding war here. <laughs> I don't know, man. Cause I like that. Once we're done, hey, once we're done, we'll look, we'll look through it, dude. The next book to be the uh, Detective the, the Comics, one thousand and six. This one is pretty damn cool too. And yeah, when was the last time you saw Spectre in a damn book, bro? Uh, it's been a while. Dude, that's, a, that's what I'm talking about, yo. That's a thick cover. That's a bad, but I think the variant is a lot better, in my opinion. No, the variant by, by Dan Quintana or something like that? Killing me. Look at that variant, bro. Hey, and you know what's crazy? Wow. I, I, there's only a handful of those here at the store, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. So, hand. It, 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 yeah. I go, we, we, we were going somewhat heavy on some of the variants. And then people don't pick them up, you know. Yep. Oh, so you gotta cut back, bro. Because if not, you're just, you're just gonna be ordering, and, and you can have a stack of books just piling up, you know. Um. So now this cover right here is, is, is super nice. Give, give her that glare. Yeah, that's that one's done by Dan Quintana, man. Uh, hell of an artist. That, that dude has some crazy ass art out there. If you guys ever go and Google him, look him up, yo. He can really dope ass artist. Alberto, um, we'll, we'll check right now for um, 2004. Thousand and five. Sorry. We should have some. Uh, yeah. I think uh, it might be variants, though. It might be a variant, but I'll, we'll double check, bro. Uh, we have year. We have the Flash seventy three. This is this is a uh, Berg nasty all day right here. Dude, that storyline by John Lambert is really fun. Like it's a really good story. I'm yeah, dude. They, they did a dope ass job with the flash this time. I'm glad they actually went on something good with this. And I actually like the cover A better than the cover B. Yeah, dude. They they've been doing better on these cover A's than the B's. I don't know, man. This cover B looks all right. Let's show off cover B. I, I like when you guys are wrong now. Nah, like when you guys are wrong. Nah, this is <laughs> I'm not too big on that one. Nope, me neither. Ah. Flash running to the villain. Yeah, to the villain. Yeah, I think you haven't seen a person. Uh, it's a nice looking cover. Um, either one is, is fine to me. Um, if if if, if there were if there was if they were both on the shelf, I probably would go with cover A. Uh, but if there if there was only a variant, I'll pick up the variant. It's, it's good enough to buy. Yeah, no one likes B. Probably not. No. The next book we have is Justice League Dark, number twelve, and this is going to be the first full appearance of the. And I think the video was talking about it. Uh, Lords, Lords of Chaos. Yeah. So, that's the previous. This is another one that I talked about, bro. That's a sleeper, man. People been sleeping on this, but this this has actually been a really stupid dope story, bro. As eleven Yeah, eleven was the uh was the uh, cameo appearance of the uh, Lords I, of Chaos. And I bet and I bet this is a book that not a lot of people have on the radar. It, 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 I'm, I'm sure it's low print as hell. Uh, the variant this is gonna be the variant. He's playing Crane too. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Again, Swamp Thing is friggin' dope, bro. That is crazy. So, and you know what? We I see these sometimes. I see these pictures on the computer, bro, and it doesn't do it justice, bro. Like whenever we're doing the order, like that flash yeah. looks a lot different on the damn computer than it did when it released yeah. today. So, like the Swamp Thing, it looked good, but you didn't get this kind of detail, bro. Like you do when you see it in person. Like, damn. That looks damn nice, bro. But Clean Crane can draw his ass off, so I, I usually kind of just bank on him. We got the Terrifics number 17. And this is this is something again. Not a lot of people pick up this book. 
not here before. Yeah, these are these are another one of the titles that is uh, going to be getting uh, dropped off. Uh, they're not lasting too long. Yeah, been selling that well. It didn't even last that long in, in front of the camera. The next book of the year, <laughs> Wonder Woman 73. <laughs> and Wonder Woman, there's something there's something going on with her. I think there's like a, a, a an appearance of somebody. I, I just forgot what it is. I can look it up real quick. I'm sure the villain already typed it in already, though. But, but yeah, it's might a, be one of the words that we can't say. That's, that's probably it's, it. It's, <laughs> it's one of the tricky words, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's so it's quick. it's uh, um, Hippolyta, bro. She's uh, there's like an alternate in the universe yeah. that who's gonna hurt. That's that's what it is for that book. Yeah, the first appearance of the author will be Evil Hippolyta and possibly others. Yeah, so this is gonna be by Jenny, uh, Jenny Prison. Jenny Prison, yeah, yeah, I do. Look at that. Hey, look at those hits, they don't lie, bro. <laughs> Damn. No lie. No lie, bro. You're looking biting. You're looking biting. <laughs> so Wonder Woman has had really beautiful variants. Um, a lot of people are sleeping on it on, on the variants, but they want whenever uh what is it, uh Faithless number four comes out, that people are gonna recognize who she is, bro. Jay said uh Justice League variant, put it in his box. Jay Sal. Okay, the next book. This one took about this is about maybe three to four months too it's kind of late yeah, but I, I hope it's late i hope it's worth it though because it started off with a bang it literally show it literally showed off, uh, off with, a wang. with a wang yeah it showed off, <laughs> it showed off homeboy's thing it could be batman damn number three nice. the, the, the cover a bro Oh, it's been an yes. interesting read it's confusing for me but it's been pretty good as well i know yeah, yeah, this is actually a dope ass story, Bert. Yeah. I'm really, I really, I really like this cover. I like, I like the whole, the whole drawing of the Joker. It looks kind of like zombie-ish. Yeah. I like yeah, the. Yeah. Yeah. It's a damn nice yeah. cover, bro. Yeah, it's so, crazy though. Now that you're showing this cover right here, the initial picture that they had up for it was a little bit of more of a fuller face. It was. It is right here on the cover. As I'm telling you, man, like yeah. you see the picture on, on, on whenever we're doing the order, and sometimes I don't even show a picture, bro. So you're just going based on, yeah. on a gamble. Uh, so that's a nice ass cover. And this is going to be the Jim Lee cover, bro. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. It's actually really nice, too, bro. It's really yeah. nice, man. Jim Lee killed it. Oh, yeah. said, when did one and two come out? They came out a while back, man. Shoot, like last year? Yeah, yeah there's Jim Lee cover right here. Yeah, bro. Damn, man. Look at Jim Lee. That, that, that cover right there, I think both covers are nice. If you go pay, I know, I know Batman Dam number one, the cover A is the one that was selling for more money. When it when it went on, when it, when it, you know when they show off the homeboy thing, whatever the case is, but the Batwing, yeah. Dude, but yeah, right? badass cover, bro. I heard, I mean, my understanding is a badass story. I'm gonna read it complete now. Now that that number three came out. So we have before we move on to Marvel, we have short box Pat, uh, Padawan. We have well, it doesn't here. I think com com uh, the comic book villain said the B cover for Wonder Woman. Oh, uh, virtually, yeah, there 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 are magazine size, bro. These are they're premier size. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger. Um, that's the end of DC, guys. Uh, no, no, no silencer. No silencer. Bro. Nobody nobody picks it up. What? Damn, bro. Yo, I'm telling you. Let me let me tell you real quick. That right there is a sleeper freaking story, yo. One, one of the best right. stories that came up from DC, and they and they were gonna kill it early, so that that freaking sucks because this is the last issue. But yo, know, if you guys have never checked out Silencer, I'm telling you guys definitely definitely go and check it out if you want to. But it's a freaking dope ass story, and and people will regret not ever checking that book out. You have to get out. Uh, you got to get it was, out like it was uh, slept on. You probably, I mean, your best bet eBay for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, but I, I think yeah. honestly, you could probably. Do, I'm sure they'll do a trade paperback for it or something. That's gonna be the best bet. R and R and pick up the issue. No, why your orders there? What are you gonna do? Grab it there? <laughs> <laughs> I can draw. I can draw a copy of that. Yeah. She knows exclusive. She knows exclusive, bro. Okay, I can just draw with the white paper, little stick. Yeah. yeah. So, so side yeah. story is, I, I know it's the end of end of the series, bro. But nobody nobody picked it up here, bro. Gotcha. So the next book is gonna be start off. It's gonna be True Believers. 
ASM number thirteen. And Marvel's smart, man, because with the movie coming out next week, look at what they draw. That's a beautiful book, period. Nice. The True Believers is freaking nice. Um, the original cover. That is nice. Really nice. So there's a lot of speculation with Mysterio going on with, with the new ASM movie. Yeah, because he's from the 833. Yeah, and I, I, the you know, my, spec, my, my opinion is I think I hope I'm, I don't, six. I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Six if you want, six. cover your nah, – no, cover your ears. It's gonna be. <laughs> I know Norman Osborn was gonna come out apparently, but I think Comedian's gonna come out too. So Ooh, ASM number no, one, not... ASM number one is about to skyrocket, I think. Spider-Man, no. far away from home, July second. Oh yeah, and I got, I already got tickets for July second, bro. I'm going to see that. Oh, yeah, Spider-Man All right, earmuffs. All right, the next book is a badass book too. Now I'm gonna take this one for my for my son. He already has the. He has a. I have him the slab. I gotta get him this one. The True Believers, Peter Porker, ah, Detective Spider Ham. Dollar book or fifty cent But that book, he loves it. So I'm gonna. Ah, oh, 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 thumbs down yeah, yeah, with his slippery yeah, hands. Oh, that's, oh, what, oh. that's what we get. Thumbs down. Oh. Yep. So <laughs> this is. I think to me this is awesome, bro. And what? I'm, I'm gonna get. Like I said, I'm a, I'm, it's a dollar book, bro. You can't beat a dollar book. So, you have any kids? There you go. Spider Ham was too heavy, man. That's why that thing fell over. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what about that Hulk, though? <laughs> All right, the next book is going to be ASM 24. It's going to be the, the, the first mention of the new villain. I think it's like Hindred or something like that. But you check this out, dude. This is the blood variant. Is it the glare, the glare push it down? Probably, man. Powerful glare. You can oh, lean it forward. Carnage taking over Spider-Man. Look at that cover, bro. Oh, that's cool. So you see that little blood variant up there? Um, there's supposed to be another book that gets the blood variant today. I didn't see it. That's nice. I'm gonna pick this. One. I'm picking up this one for sure. That's what she said. Uh, uh, when they when they introduce a new villain for Spider-Man, I'll, I always gotta pick up at least two, three copies of this. Brock Nash said DC going under. Probably. Yeah, that's what that's what your boy Rob Lyko said. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh God, Lyko. Uh, so the next book's gonna be the variant of ASM 24. We have a really healthy subscription for Spider-Man here at the shop. You probably got lean in. There you go. Look at that beautiful thing. I think the cover is better though. Yeah, I need a manicure. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, I, think, book, I think that was one of uh, freaking Joe Quesada's like worst covers ever, man. That was alright. I think this was pretty cool. The, the black suit Spider-Man. Uh, you know what? He's kind of like in that. In that, I mean, look. Before we move on, he's kind of like in that little stand. That, that little stands order. That um. Stand where he's gonna about to get no, 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 no. You, you know that one Spider Woman book that that that's, that goes for quite a bit of money, where she's kind of like you know in that kind of same posture. Yeah, it looks like it. No, I'm just I'm just saying it looks it looks like it. Oh, uh, that's a lot of Marvel, then. Marvel's yeah, heavy, bro. But then again, they have like thirty variants. This will be the twenty fifth anniversary Ooh. variant. That one's nice. That one. That one's a. That one's a. This one, one of that's a badass cover, bro. Uh, this is how we fix the gear, guys. Yeah, we just lean it forward. Then we have the War of the Realms tie-in, the Avengers number twenty. So one to twenty-five for that. That's Avengers. No. And we got a good subscriber here that that I think is buying all. Alberto should be buying all these, I think. Alberto, yeah, he has all the, all the tie-ins. So that's gonna be cover A. It's gonna be the 25th anniversary cover. Take that one out with Scarlet Witch with the old school suit. Uh, I, I, I I like that. I like this cover better than the original cover. So. All right, Epicurean. See you later, bro. Thanks for stopping, bro. Yeah. Then we have Black Panther number 13. That kill my girl. I don't know who that is. I, I haven't been reading Black Panther, bro. Not bad. We also have a 25th anniversary for that one, which is your boy Captain Murphy. Damn, he just died in there. Bring out covers for that dude. That's nice. They're really milking Captain America. Huh? He didn't die. I mean, uh, or, I mean he didn't die. I'm saying we got old. He's face turned. Yeah, he lived his life. He lived his life. Conan the Barbarian, number seven. Okay, Conan, man. I'm a womanizer. 
Yeah, like, horse. Ali, one, two, three, man, you know, four. That reminded you know, me of my single day. You better say single day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I didn't have that haircut. <laughs> nah, all, all the craziest Conan covers ever come out was always through Dark Horse, bro. They had the best covers when it came to Conan. What about what about Dark Dark Vader number one? That's another one, but his covers they're always they're damn awesome. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about the uh, the Lotto cover? Oh. Dark Vader number one, the Lotto cover, bro. Uh, that thing, that that one, that's the one that I that I'm trying to get, man. That one's freaking a beast of a cover, yo. They don't, they don't have this one in like an aversion, bro. That that, that cover yeah. aversion would be freaking a must buy. Uh, that's ruined. Uh, I think Paul Paul has his his Paul hands all his over. Him. On... Do you need do you need a a restroom break too? No, no sir. <laughs> you paid double the price. Doctor <laughs> Strange number fifteen. <laughs> Triple. Triple the price. Huh? <laughs> What's this for you? Thumbs down. With the Galactus head. That's nice. That's not bad. So I guess you put it on the helmet. Yeah. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Is that story about Galactus? Pretty I'm sorry. What was that, Bert? Is that story actually about Galactus? No, I think it's right. him become the herald of Galactus, bro. Yeah. Uh, how much is the Darth Vader cover? Um, they're all cover price. They're all cover price. I think they're what? That two ninety nine, three ninety nine. I don't know. Looking at it, you can see Paul. That might be a subscriber, Paul. Three ninety nine. Because none of you guys pick up Darth Vader. I pick up something. Yeah, I pick up a lot. You pick up the the, the lot. The ship. The ship. <laughs> this is gonna be three ninety nine. Nah, uh, there's there's like. Some, well, if you guys want to already, you guys we'll do thirty nine ninety nine. Fine today. <laughs> but that's for number, number 11. <laughs> you got it. You get early access. I think this is supposed to have a blood splatter, right? But that's four. Yeah, that's another one that's supposed to have the uh, blood splatter on it. You want to I, I, call I, Hey, I didn't get any with the blood splatter, bro. <laughs> this is going to be the uh, 25th anniversary. Man, if you want to can punch Paul in the face, give it a real blood splatter. Yeah, they don't really have blood. <laughs> so, so you guys that are subscribers to the store, man, what we'll do is... um. We'll pull all the books uh, this, this nah, evening for Michael, and then tomorrow I'll, so I'll tell him to watch read. this uh, recap. Michael's gonna and love us. watch the whole thing. <laughs> oh, you can just watch the, the chat. Michael's gonna love us. Yeah. Um, the best the best way for no 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 the best way to do this guys is to reach us through, through Instagram because that way you let us know what books you're looking for and then we can respond back and we can send a list to to uh to Michael. That is true. Let me put it back on there. Um, so I think the best way to do this is through Instagram. So yeah, that's gonna be the 25th anniversary cover, and you can see Silver Surfer, the Fantastic Four, and I think Galactus in the background. And then we also have a Spider-Man suit variant. Check that one out. Yeah, hit us up on there, man, on uh, on Instagram. I I don't I don't tend to go on there as much, but I'll get the alert. Nice. You're always on Instagram. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm not. I'm also. I live on there. I don't know. That's a pretty cool looking cover too, man. Crazy variant, man. Sick. That's the one I'll probably pick up. Beautiful. Then we have Friendly Neighborhood number uh, Spider-Man number ah, number eight. Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man has a few different Damn, books, bro. Nice. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. That one's real nice. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, it's oh, yeah. nice looking cover. That one also has a Spider-Man suit variant. I mean, Marvel. Well, I mean, they are pumping out Spider-Man. I mean, the movie's about to come out, so it makes sense for the advertising, you know? Well, you know they need Spider-Man so I don't know where you can approach. I said that one is upside down. Which one? Which one was upside down? No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, no, it's upside down. That's how he's upside down. He is upside down. Dax, something. Dax, is, Dax is over there freaking smoking something with King or something. King me? Yeah, we have Miss, Mr. and Mrs. X, number 12. Um, I don't know about this one. I mean, Ro all those are big fan of Rogue, but... You know, I thought you were a big fan of Gambit. No, I mean, Gambit's a cool character, but Rogue, I used to watch the cartoons in the earth. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go get the cover of the... Of all right, so the next book is, is coming to an end. It's going to be Major X, number 6, and you well, have... Everybody's sad. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's a sad day in, in comic book. Uh, comic book, new comic book day. One because it's, not, it's an issue, issue, man. Issue. Look at that awesome. Thoral. Look at that awesome Lego Lego gun. Thoral's gonna crash up the sleeve. 
So, Bur Berg is, is going to probably rip rip apart his Power Ranger book because he's sad. So it's, it's a sad <laughs> day in, in comic book day. So from, I was watching a um, kind of like a, a video on this earlier with um, – Mueller was saying that Rob Liefeld basically did everything on this book, right? He did the cover. He oh, did let the, me see. I got to see the inside then. The, the inside <laughs> art oh, and the story. Oh, yeah, that. that's what he's talking oh, about. Lord. Bro, you're going to see the inside of the book, bro. Nah, brother. Not for me. <laughs> you guys already know what I think about that book. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, that shit does not. That shit does not escape me, man. Oh, I can't stop it, man. Look what he's doing. So he drew it's this. Yeah. It's not too bad. He drew it and wrote it. Yeah, he wrote he wrote this last one. This is gonna be straight fire. Yeah, I mean he drew a lot of feet too. Uh oh, uh, he's rebelling yeah. against y'all. Oh, dude, that that ain't no damn feet. Those are hooves. Yeah, oh, they're like horse yeah. style. Yeah, that dude can't draw feet. <laughs> it's a six, but he's coming. Out. They're coming out with a number zero or something like that. All right, the next book to be comp, uh, Marvel Comics presents number six. You got Ghost Rider, Deadpool, and Wolverine. Really, really cool triple, looking cover. Right here. Yeah. Let me let me make let me make the camera. Let me put that full screen. <laughs> so you better when you did it like that. Dude. Huh? You better when you did it like that. Just <clears throat> holding it. Okay. Hey, okay. what's the problem? I gotta hold it. That's a problem. Paul is really shit. Paul is uh, comment, he's on commentary, bro. He's a hype man. He goes, ooh, 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 ooh. Hi, uh, Paul. Paul. <laughs> we have New Agents of Atlas number four. I think this is the end of this series too, guys. Isn't that a new character starting our own series? Arrow. Arrow's gonna have her own series. I think Sword Master's gonna have his own series too. I have another one of these. Another. That's the end of it, bro. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This is gonna be the uh, Peter Porker uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. It's gonna be Spider-Man Annual Number One. I think this is the first appearance. I I thought it was the first appearance of. Uh, I can. I'm gonna have to look into it because everybody was saying it was a. Uh, Miles Morales or Meow Morales, but now people are saying the spider twin or something like that, like a penguin. I don't know. Yeah, they call it Spider Gwen. Yeah. That's her first appearance, huh? Oh, here he goes. Yeah. Here you go, guys. Spoilers. What do they call her? Spider, spider Gwen. Like penguin. Like penguin? Yeah. Penguin. Oh, that's pretty good. That's so funny. Um, I will pick this book up because they're making a movie of it. Fire Verse, duh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Whenever it comes, whenever it comes hot, don't don't, don't come asking. Oh, you still got that that, that animal? Right. No, I don't. I got the books that I met. Some goes out to. Uh, so that's that's Adrian. that's cover A. We have we have a variant cover. Yeah, that was for Major X. Oh man, it's a sad day today. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little cover, cover B. Then we have yeah, the. Thank you to whoever's put playing that song for Major X. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the action, the action figure um, cover. Then we then we got the uh, the Manny exclusive, the animation cover. Nice. Yeah, that's uh that's nice. that one's going straight to my son. He better he better take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big uh Spider Ham fan. He's gonna read it. I'll give him the regular copy. <laughs> yeah, he's, he he, he, he's gonna have he's to he's gonna learn how to take care of books. <laughs> we have War of the Realms Punisher number three. Man, Frank has was freaking swole dude. Ah, that dude's on the that dude's on the juice, bro. <laughs> he's on the juice. <laughs> We got Marvel Rising number four. That's a pretty cool looking book too, man. I wish I would pick that one up for my daughter. I slept on that one. I know Albert picked it up for his kids. More Spider-Man. We have Spider-Man Reptilian Rage number one. It's just a one shot too, though. Yeah, that's cover A. And we got cover B. The the lizards on this one is like a T Rex. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, like a. I was gonna say that was the last one. They're just picking up, I guess. That might be the end of Marvel Rising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta free up some funds, huh, Alberto? 
he, he, hey, uh, what is it like? Like Hydra? You take one out, uh, two replace, uh, replace <laughs> so them. You got the head of one and two more. Come two out. more come out. That's that's the hour it is. He, oh, he, he eliminates one fucking and replaces it with two. Oh, <laughs> we have Superior Spider Man number eight. That's always been a really cool costume in me, dude. The Superior Spider Man. I like that, that costume. Yeah, that's the last of the Punisher, too. This one I've been looking forward to also. Daniels number three. Or Thanos number three, whichever, I, whichever way. Uh, I love this coverage. I love I love the artistic style of it, like a little black and white. Yeah, I'm actually excited for the Carnage uh, series coming out. Oh, absolute Carnage! Hell yeah, bro. Yes. And then we also have a cover, a variant for it, and it's what? gonna be a Spider-Man suit variant. Man, there's Daniels. Nice. Well, the, the movie's coming out, bro. It's just that's marketing. Awesome. Think about it. That's I forgot what suit that is, bro. But that's a that's not the regular suit. No. The symbols to you. You know, Marvel's smart though, man. It, you know, Spider Man is their number one probably character. Right yeah. All right, we're getting close to the end with with with, with Marvel. We have Thor number fourteen with a big ass Venom in the background. They should put an O at the end. Then we have the the twenty fifth anniversary uh, variant. Mm -hmm. I think that's nice too. Um, you see a little girl looking at Thor fly. The windshield. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Naomi, ain't it? Yeah, she she decided to switch over. Switch over to uh to Marvel. Whoa, it's Naomi. Look at We have Uncanny, Uncanny X Men: The War of Realms tie-in number three. Oh, yeah, they're gonna get yeah, no, X Men. No, X -Men oh, is gone. Yeah. I can't wait for Powers of X though and stuff like that. But Jonathan Hickman. Yeah. All right, so this is gonna be the end of War of the Realms, dude. Yeah, War of the Realms number six. I like I like this cover a lot. Cover A. And I need to catch up on this series too, man. Yeah. Oh, well, look, this is pretty cool. So you got cover A. Then you got I think this is the Battle Lines cover. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Young Guns. Oh, Young. Oh, Bertha said I can hear my wallet crying. I can hear my wallet crying. We have the uh, we have this awesome Thor wow, cover too. Beautiful. And I'm what is that? I'm behind, so he must. He has some, some crazy. Oh, I think they chopped off his hand, right? Yeah, he he. He lost his well, hand. He lost his hand. <laughs> then we have. This one might be the. Cover. Number one. Okay, no, this is this is the, the Terry and Rachel Dotson, bro. Nice. This is like Valkyrie, for Jane Foster. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's a bad card, bro. Then we have War of the Realms, the Malachites, 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 whatever. That's a nice cover, dude. That's a, I think that's a one in twenty-five variant. Uh -oh. I can tell a lot, man. That's sick. That's a Hugo variant. Uh oh, your boy has to go at it. Yeah. And the last book we have will be Wolverine oh, Exit uh, Wounds number one. Yeah, but they did a one. It's a one shot. Yeah, I want that. This I didn't is, get that this one. This is going to be a nice one to buy. You hear that, though? You didn't get that one in 50. Ooh. <laughs> That's the Rob Liefeld <laughs> cover. Uh, we didn't get that one. We're, we didn't order 50 books of that one. Yeah, yeah, you guys seen that Rob Liefeld cover, man? My man tries every attempt on earth to hide the freaking Wolverine's feet in it. Uh, I, I saw it, but when I saw it was one in fifty, I was like, "Yeah, we're not gonna order fifty of that book." And then, yeah. and then with Rob Liefeld being the um, the main artist, I was like, "That's gonna be a hard flip." Yeah, you'll be you'll be losing out, bro. Exactly. All right. So this is actually three different stories in this in this Wolverine exit wound. Um, but we wanted what we wanted to do, guys, is we wanted to pick our pick of the week. Ooh, nice. There's a lot of books, man. It's tricky. It's hard. Yeah, but we're just gonna to we're gonna pick just a pick of the week, or 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 what we think to be the best book to pick up. But that doesn't mean you should just pick up that one book. But it's just our pick. First, you wanna go first, bro? We'll put out the book. I wonder which uh, one. I wonder which uh, one. I wonder which yeah, one. man. Uh, uh, the pick of the week for me for this new segment is. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number forty. That's all that <laughs> but what what cover do you what cover are you talking about, bro? You know, all, like all of the covers, they're all really nice. I'm going to be getting me, we will be getting cover B, that foil cover B. of the White Power Ranger. All right, and I'm going to show off the book that Burke is talking about, guys. Boom. And again, if you missed it earlier, it's the first appearance of the White Ranger. 
So this is the one that he had to go excuse himself for. This is a badass cover, though. But yeah, I mean, I understand. I mean, you know what? Bird, you got to do what you got to do, bro. But yeah, that's my pick of the week. I'm pretty excited to read that. Happy ending there. Like Happy <laughs> ending. Thoro, what's your pick of the week, bro? You have a book you, you, you have your eye on that you really want to pick? Yeah, man. Uh, the book that we yeah. show off. Can, can too. That, that, that book right there, number one, yo, that, that book seems super interesting, the IDW. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think that, that I know from what I heard already, that book has been sold out and it's going to a second printing. So that, that's a book definitely to be on the lookout, especially for that one in 10, man. I, I don't even think you'll be able to find that one in 10. So, you know, that, that's going to be my, my pick of the week. Hey, well, check this out. This is going to be the one that Thor was talking about, Cancel. Yep. Canceled. Oh, yeah. Nah, I don't know, man. You know what? I'm in canceled. I'm interested to see the, the art inside, bro. Canceled. Hey. Uh, oh, wow. Show, show you want me to show you something or no, Thor? You yeah, yeah, you could go ahead, bro. You know me, man. I'm, I'm down for spoilers. I'm like, I'm like Chino. You're like Chino? Uh, this is the interior art, guys. Nice. Oh, that's, that's dope, dude. Yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely looking forward to that. And you that's know what? The book feels damn nice too, bro. Like it feels like it's made well. So whatever that means. It's only three nine nine too, so all right. What's your pick of pick of the week, Gino? You know, to be honest with you, man, I think I am gonna go with the uh, War of the Realms, the the last one. Uh I need to catch up on the series. No, I like the four cover, man. It reminds me of me. <laughs> how slow you are, what? how small I am. Yeah. Um the head. I mean the uh, arms. The no arms. No, I work out. I did a lot of biceps. Um, I I, I want to see how this ends. I enjoyed the story. It, it it's been Thank good. Um, I'll eventually get with Albert and uh, I'll buy back all his uh, uh tie-ins in uh, in a year or two. <laughs> and I'll read all those. <laughs> but uh, this is the one that I'm I, I'm gonna enjoy. Trying to close it up and read it. And I'm gonna go with IDW man, Road of Bones number two. Um, I think this one here is also a sleeper for a lot of people, and I think for mission number one, I'm already I I really really enjoyed it, so I really really want to see what this one does. I really I already know what what Wars of Realms and those books are doing. Canto is a really really great book, but I didn't want to pick the same book that that Thor's in because at the end of the day, we want to show a few different books that maybe you might miss. But again, this one here is. Okay. Like, this one here's gonna be a bad pick. Um, Alberto was saying um, that that Malachi cover is acclaimed. Um, I don't think so. Uh, these guys are fighting for it already. What? The yeah, Malachi. well, just, um, just make sure you come over here and fight these guys. We're gonna have like the uh, no, they're good. They're good for it. No, no, I want to see them fight. Albert wants. Albert wants to know what's I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna throw it in the middle and be like, we're gonna have. Try. So no, we're gonna have a fight club here. See who wins. For the incentive variance, guys, what we're gonna do then is uh, more likely I'm gonna be super busy tomorrow, so I won't I won't be able to price them. But after this, we got we gotta head out. Um, so what I'll do is more likely in the afternoon they will be available after maybe like four o'clock, four or five o'clock. Rotor bones. Uh, nobody knows once that he missed rotor bones. Right here, bro. Oh, got him. Oh, he missed it. You didn't pick up number one. I I picked up number one, bro. I I I didn't pick it up here at the store, but. When I, when I heard about it, I went I went hunting and I found it. And it was the last copy, and I was really glad I picked oh, it up. How convenient! Last copy. What do you want me to do? Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat up. <laughs> so first rule, first first rule, fight club. So guys, it's been pretty. Yeah, that's a bad cover. Three hundred fifty, only three hundred fifty cover. <clears throat> well, I guess let's 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 uh go to these guys, man. We're we're gonna cut it a little short today. I know we always talk, but me and Manny have to go see a collection. Um. We're 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 thinking about having our auction too um, this this uh, Saturday. So if we buy this collection, we're gonna go through it and put up some more books. We have a lot of books to get rid of, man. Literally, like we have tons of boxes and boxes. Bro, like, boxes bro, like, of boxes. yeah, bro, like yeah, a lot of books. We'll see what we'll see what, what we find today. Um, I, I do know that there are some. You don't no, you don't think anything. So you gotta be surprised. People won't show up if you don't surprise. All right, I gotta go, guys. All right, bro, go ahead and give your outro, bro. Uh, bye. All right, Bert. Thor. Yeah, yo. Th thanks, everybody in the chat, man. Big shout out to everybody as always. Big shout out to my dudes, Chino and Manny, uh, R and R Comics. Yo, these guys are always bringing in heat every Tuesday. 
uh, bringing it to you guys, you know, live and direct, showing you guys what's up for Wednesday. Um, and also, uh, uh, guys, once again, yeah, I got um, an auction this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, hope, hopefully, you guys will be able to join me and, and the gang that I got going for that uh, for that auction. And go and check out the uh, New York Warriors tonight at 9.30, man. Them guys are always putting up some heat. And definitely go and check out my dudes, Chino and Manny. You know, they, they're putting up some crazy-ass books. Unfortunately, you guys better be, you know, thanking me for not being on there. Because if I was there, you know, I'd be taking everything. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say that as that because I've been super busy on Saturdays. But yeah, now, all, all jokes aside, crazy, man, I definitely go check my boys out, man. But yeah, that's it on my part, guys. You know, that that we, we are busy, man. Um, but yeah, check out Thor. He has some good books, man. And his auction, Big Line Cat. They had an auction last last week, man. And me, man, he didn't catch it, like. Fully, yeah. we, we, I think we were in and we're out. We're in and out, yeah. yeah. And, and dude, out. they got about an 800 fucking views, so they're doing something good, man. On there, we were like, "What the hell, man?" They just, you know, well, they, they, were, they, they, they had, they had, a, lot, they had a good nine, nine guys, right? How many uh, guys? You had well, they had, they had a great panel. Um, we and, had, we and, had a yeah. crap load of people that day, dude. And I mean, they, we were just putting out books, and I just did like, you know, my envelope show. People wanted to buy them, and people were walking away happy as hell. I had the uh, more the Hulk number two, the variant, the Zafino variant. And man, right. some somebody got it. They were happy as hell. And then I also had the uh, Malibu Sun first appearance of Spawn. Oh, nice! I had that, and yeah, some somebody got lucky, dude. So that that's that's the things that I try doing. You know, I try giving yeah, everybody a good price on things and try to do my thing. So yeah, but, yeah we had we had a crazy show up for that. Yeah, you guys. What's up, you what's up our chemist? Our chemist is doing this. Man, yeah, you guys killed it, bro. Um, yeah. you guys had had a badass auction. And that's the thing about this, man. Like. There's different times for different auctions, and there's different there's different things yeah, in each cool. auction. So it's it's cool to just be checking on different auctions. You might find a book that you're looking for, and these guys have it, you know, or we might have it, or whatever it may be. The way I look at the auctions on 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 YouTube, man, is if you're looking for for certain books, man, and don't get me wrong, like I like eBay and stuff like that, dude, but. I, I just think it's so much much funner when you're doing a live auction and you have people interacting and you get to actually uh, buy the books and and win them. Um, it's not like eBay where you're kind of like blind bidding against God. God knows who you're bidding against here. You know, yeah, people, hey, the the same owner of the book is all their yeah, his you know, homeboys bidding on it. They're raising his price, but um, yeah, I've heard I've heard of people doing that, bro, on eBay. So it's you know they're trying to up the bids on uh, on eBay. So it's pretty jacked up. So before we take off, I have Hawaiian Punchy said, uh, you. You guys should place an order for dead end kids. I'll look into it, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'll just, I'll just and Jay, uh, thank you, man, for coming to the shop, bro. Uh, at the end of the day, all of this happens because all the people that come to the shop and all the people that are on YouTube that help us out, guide us, give us tips. Um, so we really appreciate everybody that's on the chat, everybody that's a sub. So lots of my boy Thor, so lots of my boy Burke Nasty. Yeah, I think Burke is close to getting to 300. So let's get on the 300. I was gonna mess with him a little bit, but I'll mess with him on the next one um, about about his name. He wants to change his name. To, yeah. To, uh, I, think, I think they already did, dude. He did. Yeah, he changed it to uh, Burke Family and Comments or something like that. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, yeah Man, he, went, he went totally different what he was saying. He he had two different names and he went like. I guess he talked about the family and uh. Um, That's good. So he changed his name and I always give him a little bit of crap on it. I'll tell him to get the name so. Uh, 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 Bert, Tommy, <laughs> Bert, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> uh, and with that, man, we gotta go, man. That's so it, guys. We gotta go check out this, this collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Peace out, man. Good show, yo. Always been a pleasure, guys. On the chat, see you guys. We'll see y'all later, man. We're out. <laughs>